Welcome back to the Faith, Love and Dreams YouTube channel where we discuss all things relationships, marriages and lifestyle. If you're new here to our channel, welcome and thank you for joining. Before we begin, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you hit the notification bell. We upload new videos every week and comment down below. I love to interact with my subscribers. So as the title states, we are going to talk about the Christian planner. Why a Christian planner? Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're going to talk about the Christian planner today, because if you've seen a few of my other videos, I have a video on how I use my planner. I work at home, so I have a planner that I use for work and for my personal life, and it has kept me really organized and hitting the goals of a lot of things that I need to do. Well, I started to think and the area of my life that it's not as organized is kind of like all over the place a little bit. I must admit is my spiritual life. And although I pray every day and I do a devotional, um, I'm just writing things all over the place. Now, let me just do a disclaimer. I actually ordered these planners last year and I never got around to making a video. So I kept using my regular system, which I'm going to show to you in a little bit. And you'll see why I actually need to condense it into one spot. So let's get started. Right now we are in my prayer corner and my prayer corner is down the hall from my master bedroom. In the morning when I wake up, the very first thing that I do when my eyes open up is say, thank you, God, for waking me up today. <laughs> um, and then I jump out the bed, do all of my personal stuff. And then sometimes I'll either go down and get a cup of coffee, um, some tea. If not, I'll just come down the hall and I'll come to my prayer area and uh, pray, do a devotional, maybe a little bit of praise and worship music. I also have the Bible experience on CD. So sometimes I take a listen to that. Um, but something that just puts me in the space of being grateful for another day and just spending time with God. This is an area, um, especially in this new decade, that I want to be a little bit more consistent in. So while my prayer area is a work in progress, at least I have an area that I'm dedicated to come to to do those things. So let's get started. Um, I actually use, I'll show you a few things that I use. And again, this is why you'll know why I need some type of system. Um, I use a notebook that I write in. I also use a devotional. This one is the uh, Jesus Calling devotional right now. I'm using that. And I also have a journaling Bible that I use. Um, as you can see, there's a, a color scheme going. I just love this color. Um, I also use a gratitude journal that I'm writing in as well. So, and then I just have a few other books. Again, my Bible experience. Um, and then I have like a little calendar up here that I um have a scripture that is this is the power of a praying parent my kids are adults now but I still pray for them and I also have way in the corner over there <laughs> I have uh the fingerprint uh, I think it's God's fingerprint and it's just scriptures and a fingerprint and I just thought that was a really good print so I purchased that but anyway um as you can see I have a lot of different areas that I'm writing stuff so I need to just get it organized because as we know God is a God of order and I am trying to be more godly <laughs> so um the Christian planner is what I um came across um on YouTube I came across it in Google Facebook you know the ads it's everywhere. So I decided to order one and in the color that brings me just peace. And that's the teal color. So um, I love this color. I think that if I'm going to be in a peaceful space doing peaceful things, I may as well have a peaceful color. So I bought one for myself. We'll get into the unboxing in a minute. But I also have a surprise. <laughs> and that is I have a second one. And I don't remember what they call this color online, but I like to call it royal purple. <laughs> so um, this Christian planner in the purple is actually going to be for a giveaway for one of my subscribers. So we are at today is January the 26th of 2020 on January 31st, which is Friday. I will be choosing a subscriber to uh, send this one out to so they can start in 
their Christian planning journey as well. All you have to do is subscribe to this YouTube channel, go and join the Facebook page for Faith, Love and Dreams, and also join the and subscribe to the Instagram page for Faith, Love and Dreams. Also in the comments below, leave me a comment as to why you think this would be helpful to you and you may just win it. So again, I will be picking a winner on January the 31st of 2020 to win the Purple Christian Planner. And um, again, all you have to do is subscribe and comment um, on the YouTube page as to why you think this Christian Planner will be helpful for you go ahead and join the faith love and dreams youtube page and also join the faith love and dreams instagram page very simple that's all you have to do and i will be announcing the winner on instagram on the 31st of january which is this friday so stay tuned um and let's just get into this christian planner Okay, guys, we're going to get into the unboxing of the Christian Planner. One thing that I can appreciate is that it is a veteran and family owned business. So I do like that because I like to know where my money is being spent. Um, and if you wanted to see what else they have, you can actually go to their website, www.christianplanner.com. But let's get into the opening. So I do not have a letter opener here. So we are going to a hole in the plastic it comes actually it is packaged very well um, let me just slip that off and oh this is a box I thought this was like something that you just slip off but it's actually a box this is a really nice box here um, and this is actually a pin loop. Looks like you can just put your pin in here and attach it to your planner. I'm guessing in the inside or not. I really like this box. I don't know what I'm going to do with this box, but um, look at this box, guys. It is like a keepsake box. Oh, and it has like a magnetic closure. So yeah, I, could, I definitely could do something with this. So for right now, I think I'm just going to put it with the rest of my stuff. And it looks really nice there. Okay, anyway, so this is the 2020 Christian Planner. I love the color. I believe this is maybe vegan leather or faux leather. I think it's real leather. Not really sure. But it has this little elastic that actually keeps it closed. So I do like that. And I'm guessing that you can... Add your pin loop probably to the back so your pin can stay on like this. Or if you want your pin loop at the top, I'm guessing it'll it can go like that or to the side or the bottom. I think that's really cool. It has like a little adhesive on the back that you just stick it in your planner. Um, but let's get into this planner. So when you open it, wait, before we open it, it looks like... Okay, there's one little ribbon here, and I see another one peeking out, which I think is really cool. So I have two ribbons, one is white and one is in a darker teal. It looks like you can actually use one. I would use one probably for the calendar and one to mark wherever I am in here. We're just gonna lay those to the side. All right, so when you open it, it says 2020 Kristen Planner. The paper is a nice, has a nice thickness to it. Um, and it looks like it has a, a welcome. 2020 Christian Planner, welcome to the Christian Planner family. In three short years, we've reached a lot of people, yada, yada. Um, I think that's great. It also gives you some ideas on how to use this planner at the beginning of the year every week, every day, every month. Um, and it has their social medias down here. So there is a Facebook page, a Instagram page, Pinterest, and they're also on Twitter. So I think that's great. So I love when you have something like this and you have a actual community because sometimes you don't really know how you want to use it or, you know, 
you can get some really good ideas on how to use it. So I think that that's very good. Okay, so we first come to an area that says my vision board and it's actually on two pages cut and paste photos write quotes words prayers draw pictures etc this is your vision so i like this because you can actually add your vision here and it can spill into the second page at the bottom it has my bucket uh, a bucket list 2020 bucket list the next five years and your lifetime bucket list that's really cool all right the next page, it looks like it has my healthy habit goals. I like that word healthy because a lot of times we'll just see habit trackers and everyone's habits is not very good all the time. So including the word healthy, I like that. So it says pray and make a covenant with God this year in each quadrant. Write down how you can improve your life, your relationship with Christ and your relationship with others. Big, small, personal and spiritual. Everything counts. And so they give you some examples on the side. And then there are the boxes here. And then on the other page, it says 2020 goals. Write down the goals you would like to accomplish this year. So I think that uh, this guided area is really good. Um, yeah. And then it comes to the overview page 2020 year overview 2021 and it has uh, the holidays for each year at the bottom so I like that I probably would keep maybe you know one of the ribbons there and then next it looks like you have a spread of um, across two pages of the month um, and it looks like there's a scripture included. The first one for January says, may the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. And that is Psalm 2911 from the English Standard Version. Um, at the bottom, there's an area for reflection. There's an area for action. For reflection, it says, what blessings came into my life last month? What accomplishments am I proud of? For action, it says, how can I demonstrate my love for God and for others this month? I like that. And then it goes on to an area that's for weekly devotionals and it says weekly sermon notes and reflection is at the bottom. What were the blessings in my life last week? What am I grateful for right now? And then there's another scripture on the, at the top of the page. You can use this area for Bible study notes, sketch, prepare, whatever you want to use that for. And there's an action at the bottom as well. And it says, how can I improve my life, my relationship with God? and with others this week. Commit to at least one for the next week, for me, for God, for others. I think that's really good. Um, it kind of gives you a guided um, way to make sure that you are fulfilling some type of purpose or um, good deed for the week. And so then it goes into, we have some notes and then you have, I guess this is your week at a glance on two pages and it has day and it has night. At the bottom, it has my space, so I guess you can put whatever you want down here. And then here's a daily habit, habit tracker, and it says for you, for God, and for others. And so you can just put some habits down there or just some chores. Um, I am actually going to only use this for uh, my spiritual area because I do have a planner that I use just on the daily. But I do think that you can just use buy this one planner and use it for everything actually um, but I want something that I can keep right at my desk that I'll use all the time so I'll probably insert some um, healthy habits um, that pertain to my spiritual growth so I do like that and it goes back did I skip over anything no so every week you have your weekly devotional you have your reflection your Bible study notes and pages and your action, it looks like. Okay, and so it does that for the whole week, the whole, every week of the month. And then it goes on to February and it repeats. And it looks like it has a scripture at the top of every page and it comes from a different uh, version of the Bible. It looks like the February scripture uh, and now these remain these three remain faith hope and love but the greatest of these is love and that's um, from the NIV version so um, I do like that they have different versions of the Bible here um, I'm not sure if you have a favorite version I've used quite a few um, whatever helps me to understand the scripture better is what I've been using um, but yeah so 
this is pretty cool let me see if there's anything different so it looks like it goes through the whole year uh, with that um, with that setup which will be the year I mean the month on two pages with a reflection and an action then it goes into your weekly devotional or sermon notes Bible study notes or sketch area a reflection at the bottom and action for the week to do pretty much a good deed for someone for God and for others for yourself as well and then it goes into the week at a glance with a habit tracker down here so I think that that's really cool I just wanted to see if there's anything different throughout the whole thing let's see okay so at the back it looks like it has some some note pages at the back that you can use just to write some notes um down as you as you would like i would say oh hmm, and there is a pocket so you have a pocket that you can keep something in um could be your bible reading in the year i have one of those so i may put that in that back pocket and um yeah i like this um the only thing i would say is that i know they have the notes at the back i probably would have wanted an extra note page in between each month so you don't have to go all the way you know flip all the way to the back to um get to some extra note pages but other than that i think that this is beautiful it has a really good weight to it so it's not like a cheapy journal which i like um yeah, so I'm going to be using this. I'm going to transfer all of these, <laughs> everything that I write in here that I've started with in January to the January portion of my planner. And um, yeah, I think that this is going to serve me really, really well. I may go ahead and I don't know. I think I may like this at the top. I'm not sure. I'm going to go ahead and add this uh, pin loop to it. So I have a pin loop on the side. Or maybe not. I'm not really sure since it's going to stay inside. Um, and this keeps it all closed. And I will replace all of that. And look, look how, look how good that goes with everything. I mean, I won't be using this one at the top anymore. In my gratitude journal, it kind of goes in the same. Um, but yeah, I, I think I like it. So that is it for the Christian Planner unboxing review. Remember that I will be giving away this Royal Purple Planner is what I call it. Although I just turned to the back. <laughs> it's called Lady Lilac. Um, but hey, we're going to keep calling it Royal Purple because whoever receives this, um, if it's a female, you're a lady anyway. And um, purple is the color of royalty. So Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.